Hey Cancer, this is going to be your love reading for the month of May. Um, Cancer, this is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is general, so not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Um, if I resonate with you and you would like a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. You can hit me up there. Um, forgive any background noise. It is second week of Fiesta here in San Antonio. Lots of energy and lots of noise. So Nine of Pentacles is coming out. Someone here needs to surrender or has already learned to surrender and go with the flow, Cancer. All right, yes, and someone has been struck. We've got the uh, page of cups coming out. So one person probably has learned to surrender and stop fighting the current, going with the flow, and the other person um, has really been struck by love or something has been reignited. So this is new or old. Um, either way, it is a new feeling, right, coming in for both. One person has learned learn to just go with the flow. The other person has learned to love them for making that, that compromise. And, and letting go. Or one person has just, if this is new, um, one person has finally just let go and, and let the universe and been struck by love. All right, five of wands coming out. So this person um, that is either already learned to let go or uh, is needing to learn to let go um, has been in battle. Okay, so this hasn't been an easy fight. A lot of confrontation here. Very argumentative energy battle here. Okay, high priestess coming out. Okay, this she's got. I don't know if you can see there in those in that tree, but she holds all the keys. All right, and she's chilling. Much to do with intuition. So this person knows that uh, this other person probably holds the keys to what they need and that's why they love them so much and they are um, standing by their gut feeling and they know it's like they know it's almost like one person just got tired of fighting which is probably a good thing you can push so much you know what I mean that you can just push somebody right away okay Knight of Wands coming here. So this is very impulsive, this this argumentative energy here. This one person that needs to learn to um, go with the flow. They're very impulsive. They act very quick without thinking. Just real snap. Ace of Pentacles. So this other energy here is very confident. All right. They're very, very confident about the opportunities, very confident um, about themselves. All right. They know, again, they know that they love this person. Okay. They, they understand that they've been struck. They're very confident in this relationship. Um, and it, they're really following their gut. They know it's the real deal. The other person here may need to just learn to let go a little bit because they're very snappy, all right? Very, very snappy energy, very quick, very impulsive. They don't really think they take risks. Um, that tongue, that tongue though, very sharp. They're battling a lot, this other energy with the sharp tongue. They need to learn to let go. They're battling a lot of um, a lot of temptation, a lot of past uh, ways, bad behaviors. Um, 
they're really, really battling some inner demons there. With, I mean, some addictions, possibly, you know, devil has to do with addictions, bondage, sex, uh, shackles, temptations, deceit, the deceiver. This person over here, this energy, six of swords, they're not with it anymore. It's like, it feels a little bit like somebody is either about to give an ultimatum or already given an ultimatum like look i love you i know i love you i'm confident in the way that i'm dealing with this situation if you don't get your shit together i'm gonna have to go interesting enough they are going towards both ships actually very interesting because the arrow from uh this is going towards this energy over here they're going towards the high priestess is sitting facing towards this energy over here this ship from the ace of pentacles is also going towards this energy over here and the six of swords even though they're ready to go it's possible maybe they're just ready to go with them in a different direction because they are also headed in the direction of this energy whereas this one, they're coming from all sides, confused, don't know, just battle, quick to act, running away, impulsive, fighting, temptation is leading them away, addictions, things like this also. So let me pull. One person is very, very, not to say that both, both people are invested, but one person is like really trying their ass off here, Cancer, and the other one is just really needs to learn to to let go and flow they're having they're having a rough go at it codependency addictions are affecting your romance life yeah yeah it's tough this is tough and especially because this person is like all in. It's like they've exhausted all efforts. They've done everything they can. They've been patient. You know, they've, they've tried, tried, tried. And this person is really, really having a rough go at it. This codependent behavior. That's this, this devil card here. And this is what you um, either have already been dealing with and will possibly continue to deal with or rehash. Uh, see it again uh, this month of May, Cancer. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so healing family issues. This could be parents, siblings, cousins, anybody that's even just um, close like family members, right? Um, you don't have to be blood to be family, right? And sometimes blood ain't no thicker than water. So here is somebody that's really um, healing from these past issues. This is a lot of heavy. This is probably where the addictions and uh, bondage and things are coming from, right? Um, when they get over this here, right, they step into this just really, you see, even though he or she is surrounded by sharks. They have finally surrendered and understood that the more they fight, the more they struggle, the worse it will get. So if they just lay there, if they just surrender, if they just blow with the current, nothing will bother them, okay? And that will happen um, possibly this month of May, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be easy, right? This person, um, is going to have to really put forth some effort because this runs pretty deep. Cancer for the month of May. Grove. Grove, number 21, two and one is three. I'm not really sure what this card is saying, but this part, this cat here is just sitting there in the garden, just chilling. 
which the high priestess is over here just chilling and where we want this person to get to the nine of coins just chilling in the garden in the water in the tree just really stop struggling so much the more this person is is fighting the worse it's it's getting wishing yeah so perhaps one energy or really both of these energies wish they could get it together right it's not that this person doesn't want to be good or doesn't want to get their shit together it's just they're really really having a rough go at it there's a lot here um that hasn't been dealt with dealt with with the family um there's a lot of addiction and past bad behaviors and things it's just a lot it's, it runs very deep here it runs very deep so um i wouldn't get too down about it you know um I would really just surrender. It looks like one person is really trying. And again, they've exhausted all efforts and done what they can. Now it's really up to the other person um, to kind of come along and surrender a little bit. Um, if this one can just stay by their side, you know, if that's, if that's the way it goes. If not, then not. But that is what I have for you, Cancer. I love you. Namaste.